are some really unique and innovative uh, designs out there for portable systems that are very labor efficient as far as moving and uh, it makes it less of a chore and when it's less of a chore you're most you're more likely to do it and provide it for those animals in strategic locations this is we actually bought this already made and it has a 1500 gallon tank on it um, and then it, the water is um, shunted down into these side tanks uh, using a float system so it's they automatically refill as the cattle drink out of them and uh, this 1500 gallons usually lasts two to three days. Uh, this is a small uh, slip in the back of a pickup unit. It only handles about 200 gallons. Um, but if you're visiting your animals once or twice a day for paddock shifts, um, it's not that big of a deal to haul water to them. On our farm, we've got uh, water lines run out to each, each paddock. Um, and then within every paddock, I've got uh, a faucet located me every, every 100 yards or so, so that as I move the cows through the pasture, there's always access to water right close to where the cattle are. Uh, originally, when I was milking about 35 or 40 cows, I just had a, a barrel like this. It's a 55 gallon barrel with the top cut off. I cut the rim off and then put that back in there. That helps keep this, the round shape. If you just cut the barrel in half um, without having this hard rim around the inside, the barrel will deform itself and you get a bunch of goofy shaped barrels. So I found that uh, that works good. I use what's called uh, a Hudson float, and, and this similar design I just call a candy cane. Just walk up to the barrel, drop it on, hook up the faucet, and, and walk away. You're good to go. The weight, the weight of this thing with the little float in there um, is enough to keep it in there. Um, never had any problem with the cows knocking it out, although when I did move up in cow numbers, if too many cows would come to drink of this at the same time, they'd empty the barrel out and they'd end up tipping it over. So that's what evolved into this bad boy. So this is basically two barrels on a, on a skid. Uh, both barrels are connected at the bottom so that when I fill one, it automatically levels out and it fills on the other side. So this doubles my capacity and, and then they're also attached down to the skid so the cows can't tip them over even if they do run them empty. So I added this on there so that you know there's mineral and kelp um, available all the time. And then uh, to take it the next step further, I added these, uh, I think they're called fly bullets. It's just uh, a piece of fabric shoved with a bunch of more fabric that you just um, soak with uh, fly, fly oil. Um, we're organic so we use uh, it's a mineral oil based uh, fly repellent. So when they stick their heads in there, they get that rubbed all over their face and it works really good for that. So this, you know, this whole thing kind of ended up being like a five in one kind of a thing. Here is a nose pump. This is another means of getting water to cattle on a remote pasture situation. Uh, it's also a way to draw water out of a shallow well. If you have a site that there's no electricity, this can be a valuable tool uh, for you. Um, how it works is, uh, the cow puts her nose against here and pumps and water is drawn in through a, a pipe coming through the other end and it fills this bowl or depression here and she drinks out of that. One of the disadvantages to these is they're heavy. They're not real portable, but they're somewhat portable. You, you can move them with some effort. Um, you also need to train your livestock to use these. Uh, even relatively small calves can get in and use these, 250-pound calves, 200-pound calves. Um, the cows uh, can learn how to use them, but there needs to be a training period involved for them to use them. So keep that in mind if you want to use it. This one is strictly for summer use. It does not handle frost. There are frost-free models of these out of Canada for winter watering scenarios. Uh, information available on that online. Uh, but it is just another alternative for watering cattle in a remote situation.